to Casey Bangles Time. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we were reacting to chapter five of the book of Boba Fett and whew, has the internet been on fire for the past week since last week's episode obviously if you have watched episode four or chapter four you would know that throughout the episode a certain theme song was playing a certain theme that got the entire internet excited because it was Din Djarin's theme the Mandalorian theme song and it was like does that mean a certain person is going to show up on the show, or are you just debating us? So I'm hoping, I'm trying to keep my expectations low, but as you can see, I'm very excited because I really want it to be true that he might be on the show today, he might be in this episode, and he might end up being in the rest of the se series of Boba Fett. We never know. But... <sighs> I'm so excited. Another rumor that's been going around, like, recently, since, like, yesterday, is that Boba... Boba... Not Boba Fett. Um... Bogatan might be in this show, but we're not too sure. I don't want to get my hopes up because already the fact that Din was sort of teased last week, I'm like, hmm. Like, I really want it to be true because Pedro Pascal is Din Djarin. You guys know I love him. Um, so, and also in the chapter sort of like where they do the description, it says an unexpected ally emerges. So... That's what I'm thinking. Like, are they debating us and trying to make us think it's a Mandalorian or is it going to be someone else? So... I'm excited to see whoever it is show up, but I would really like it to be Din. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <gasps> is that Din? Oh my god, it is! Ah, yes! <laughs> He's here! It was true! I love it. I love it. My man. Damn, they really were serious. I thought they were debating us. Oh my god. I can't even tell you how much I've missed this man so much. Oh my god. I see him right now. <laughs> I can bring you in warm. Yeah. Or I can bring you in cold. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. <gasps> I didn't think he was gonna have it! Oh my god! <laughs> Did he like hurt himself with it? Oh my god, he still doesn't know how to use it. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit! <gasps> I. Dude, I'm sorry. I need return of. Oh! If that's going to be the level of what season three is, I'm fucking hyped. <laughs> is that? It's the, the the lady from season one. <laughs> What's her name? Fuck. The um, you know who? The armorer. That's her name. Oh well, we don't have a name for her, but the armorer. Oh, she's alive. She made it. <gasps> See? Now it's been confirmed. They were on the moon, which is means that they were part of um the um the other part of the Mandalorians, which is um I can't remember their name, but Death Death something, I can't remember. But um it's what is it? Death Watch. Um I think that's what it's called. You can Correct me in the thing. So that it's been confirmed. He's he his family was part of Death Watch, or not his family, but these Mandalorians are part of Death Watch. They're not from um, Concordia. I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, it confirms that. So that's why I've been, I've been waiting for that because obviously a lot of people were like, "Is he part of Death Watch or is there like?" Because apparently there's another like group that aren't Death Watch, but they're just as not as bad as Death Watch, but they're a little bit like, eh, eh they're not like. 
like other Mandalorians who remove their helmets. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, that could be the. But this is like firm confirmation. Anyway. Oh, we're getting flash! Throwbacks! Oh my god! Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh my god, they're actually showing it! For a specific family. <clears throat> Solidarity are the way. I'm gonna cry. What shall I forge for the foundling Grogu? <laughs> oh my god! Why is this making me really emotional? <laughs> oh my god! It's like his head. Oh, I really want to cry. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe the dark saber belongs in someone else's hands. No. No, it does not. Forged by my ancestor. Oh no. Forgot. Din, why? You don't have the spear anymore. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, Din. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I thought he fell to his death. My bad. I'm sorry. Oh my God, the theme. <laughs> I'm guessing we'll deal with this more in season three. I love it though. That's great. I'm just gonna say because I know um, a lot of people are gonna be like, "Where the fuck is Boba?" But I like that we're getting. We're not just getting Din coming in. Like we're able to sort of get a snapshot of what he's been through. Like I know obviously a pe people are gonna be like, "But that's for season three of Mandalorian." But I like that we're getting this moment in time. We're we're understanding what's going on with him, what he's going through. I like that. Anyway. <laughs> that on you keep that on you keep that on you keep that on you oh no lord on high please that's gonna be another mission he's gonna have to do in season three find the dark saber if it gets lost <laughs> oh jesus oh What's her name? Shit. She also was in a couple of episodes ago too. I love that. All said. <laughs> oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys can obviously hear that. Oh my god, the ground shaking. If you can hear that, there's a super bad storm outside. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's sick. <laughs> I missed the race across the river, but this is a sick ship. Love it. Oh, wow. That's my favorite shot. Thank you, officer. I'll have that taken care of. One thing before you go. Yes? Oh, him! Run, Jim. Fly away!
absolutely loved that episode. It was really good. We get a sense of what's going on with Din. And I, I like that we did get one episode at least to know what was going on. And now we have three... Three episodes? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have three episodes now left with actual Boba Fett. I do hope that... Like, as much as I want to see Grogu, I really don't want that to happen next episode. Um, wait, let me check. Is there any, like, credit scene stuff? No, it's not. Okay. Whew! But yeah, um, I really don't want that to happen next episode. Because as much as I want to see Grogu again, I really don't want that to take up the time from, obviously, Boba's show. Like, I'm thankful, I'm even grateful that we even got an episode for Din. But I'm so happy that we did get that time to sort of fill out what was going on and sort of, like, talk about, like, what's happened with him and his new ship and then, obviously, him getting to fly it. Those were some beautiful sequence shots, like, with his ship. So, so beautiful. And I'm I'm really happy that we did get to have an episode where we got to see him in his full, like, like what was going on and, like, how he was, like, where his headspace was at. Um, and it obviously seems like he's very distracted still, like, in terms of whether, like, you know, like, whether he wants the Darksaber, doesn't know how to use it, he's injuring himself a lot. Um, and obviously, the stuff about his COVID, I actually really like that detail. Like, I didn't think that we'd get any of that until Season 3, but I like... I like that we sort of get the beginnings of where season three may go. So obviously it's going to seem like he's going to, he's found, he he knows a lot about himself now. He knows what he was a part of. So as, as well as the audience, well, not only the, I feel like the hardcore fans will know. So he is part of Death Watch um, and he wasn't part of the actual Mandalorians where they do remove their helmets. So, um, and that's the reason why his, his covert survived it was because he was part of Death Watch. Um, which is a little bit sad, but at the same time, it's very interesting. I like that as sort of, like, the character development for him, and even for us to find out what actually happened, and to see what happened to his covert, and to also have that battle with Paz Vizsla, um... Even I was thinking, I was like, Vizsla would want that sword, wouldn't he? Because that's his, again, like, his ancestor's sword, like he said. So I was like, heck yeah, give it to us. Um, and that was such a great opening, getting to see all that. And then, oh, it was just, it was so, such a good episode. Like, I know that obviously it's something we're familiar with. It's like Mandalorian and, like, we're so familiar with his style. And I don't know, it was just so dark and gritty and just so much... I think it's just because, like, I've missed Din so much. Like, it's been a year since we've seen him um, on the screen since season two. <sighs> season three is going to be huge when it drops, and I cannot wait for when that happens. But anyway, getting back to the story. Um, yeah, again, I love that we get to see a snapshot of what he's going through. It's obvious that he's thinking about Grogu a lot, um, and he wants to see him again, which is really, really cute and really sweet and very emotional. And also, even another thing I was thinking of, I can't remember her name, um, but the lady in the casino area, the one with the, she's a, tw I think that's what they call the Twilix, I think that's called, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, I can never say it right, um, but like, a lot of people are starting to think that she may be, like, evil, or bad, um, and I mean, she might be, we might all be, like, sort of focused on the pikes when in reality it's all it's been her she's had this partnership maybe she wants to take over Moss Eisley like I, I mean that would be really cool I can't remember her name off the top of my head my brain's not working today I've been like I obviously if you guys know if you're a fan of the channel or if you're a, like a subscriber I'm in my final two weeks of university guys it's the home stretch um I've just been finishing my assignments and stuff and um I just, yeah, uh, today I've just been on my feet the whole day, so I'm just so tired and my brain's not really there in terms of Star Wars name, so I apologize. But yeah, that's a theory that I'm having. I'm not really sure about it, but if, I mean, like, we might get more info in the next few episodes. But yeah, this episode was great and it was so, so good. And also Bri Bryce Dallas Howard, she's incredible. Uh, every episode that she's ever done in terms of Star Wars, I've loved um, she's an incredible director and I hope that, I mean, like, I would love for her to take over, like, an entire series and do it in her style because I love the way that she directs the cinematography and everything is just so beautifully done. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens in the next few episodes. Again, I don't want it to turn into Mando's show. I want it to continue to be Boba's because Boba's... A lot of people have been conversing about this and I've actually been really surprised with Twitter. Um, Tumblr has been 
a shit show, so I'm not even going to talk about that. But with Twitter, um, it seems like a really, like, a, a lot of people are very positive about it and actually really liking the slow burn of character development. And I'm like, yes, a win for slow burn character development. I'm one person who, like, loves that stuff. I absolutely adore it. That's what, I don't know, for me, that what makes me invested into a story. If there's going to be character development, character building. Um, and I feel like we've had that throughout this show. So I'm glad that we got, like, this character episode with Din, obviously. But I do love that little aspect of Din saying, like, you don't need to pay, I'll just do it for free. Like, that's so sweet. Like, even though, because obviously he's a bounty hunter, he obviously wants those credits and stuff. I thought he would take the money, but that was really sweet that he did it. So yeah, that was really cute. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on today's episode of The Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 5, uh, The Return of the Mandalorian. Oh. Whew, my heart is racing people and I'm just yeah today's episode was really really good um and just so gritty and dark and oh it, like it, it's making me like remember how much I love the Mandalorian um and not like I know that's another conversation actually um a lot of people are saying Boba's not gritty and dark as he used to be but it's like that's the thing that's the difference I think I think that's what they're trying to show as well Boba was like that when he was younger. He was like that, well, not when he was too young, but, like, when he was working for the Empire. He was angry. He was, like, the way that he fought was very different to the way he fights now. Um, in a way, I feel like the way he fights now is very honourable. It's a quick death. Um, and he's, like, he he's very protective of the family that he builds around him. And so he will fight to the death to protect anybody in his circle. With Din... His only priority is literally his little one. Like, especially if we're looking at season two, and even just, even in today's episode, it's very gritty. Like, it's very messy. And I've always said this, Din's fighting style is very messy. All he wants is to get the job done. So he literally will stab, like, cut the heads off people and everything. It's because he's desperate to finish the job. And it's it's very messy. Like, he's not the greatest bounty hunter out there. Not like, obviously, Django Fett or even Boba Fett. Um, he's just a very messy killer, but, I mean, that's what people love about him. It's, it, like, you see the characteristics that are very different between different characters, and that's why I love the difference between Boba and Din. And again, but anyway, um, sort of finishing off there before I go on a rant, like, I think that's the different styles, and I think that's why the, I think the writers, especially Jon Favreau and even Dave Filoni, who obviously is producing this, but, like, I feel like what they're trying to show is that there are different, like, there obviously are different characters in this universe. They, they obviously do the same job, uh, but they're very different in their styles of fighting, and they're very different in, I guess, in their beliefs and their, and just everything about them. So that's why I love, I love showing in a way that contrast with this episode versus the rest of the series of what Boba Fett has been. And I can't wait to see what happens next episode. So that's going to be pretty sick. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video here because otherwise I'll be ranting forever. But dude, this was such a great episode. Absolutely loved it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bangle out. Woo!